Hello, hello. Uh, it's Jack again. Today, I'm gonna show you how our full supply chain management service will help you to buy products from China. We, today, I have my colleague Ming as my buyer. Hello, I'm Ming. Today, I'm, uh, I'm Jack's customer. I'm a bear. Uh, I want to uh, buy some cosmetic products from China. Uh, let me see how Jack to help me. Jack, can you help me? Oh, sure. So you just mentioned that you uh, will buy some cosmetics and uh -huh. you have an idea to buy some cosmetics from China, right? Uh, yes, uh, I want to buy um, lip glues and lipstick like that. Oh, for lip glues and lipsticks, can you tell me the size, the color, the composition, the lead time, your quantity, your target price, etc.? Uh, it's too much information. Uh, I think I can uh, find the product from the internet first that will be reached faster than share the information to you. You can help me to buy that. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, because you know exactly what you need. You know all the specifications and the details are online and you can find that and then you send me the information, share me the information for a review. So that's our, uh, this part is we can review for you. Oh, what's that? Uh, how you help me review that information? Uh, the review part is mainly for uh, three uh, things we review. So the first thing is we need to double confirm if there are any miscommunications with you and the supplier. And the second, we need to see if there are uh, spaces for better price, for better quality, lower quantity, and better packaging, etc. So the last one, we will also need to check uh, for the uh, customer's certificates, uh, the patent issues, this kind of key uh, points. And after the review, and if it pass our review, and we will go ahead for the, to the next step is to order. And if it fails our review and we will report to you, then you may need to find another supplier or another new product. Uh, if I don't want to find the products, can you help me to find the products? Yes, we can. Uh, but in this way, and you will have to offer us a list, a product list. Uh, uh, it's better to come with the links of the products for the price, uh, for the pictures, specs, and uh, also, uh, you, you need to let us know the quantity, what quantity you are going to buy. And then based on the list, we will review for it. For it. And if we say, oh, uh, we cannot find this product, then we will report to you. And then you need to have a new, you may need to change it to a new product idea. And if we say yes, yes here, and then we can find, then we will find a supplier. After that, we will confirm with you. And if you uh, confirm uh, with what we find out, and we will place the order. So this are if we succeed these are all good to the next step produce uh, it seems that the factory only produce the product right uh, yes uh, so in our uh, workflow uh, the supplier uh, the factory only need to do a good job about production and we will follow up the production uh, once the production is ready and we will inspect it's either in a factory or uh, we inspect in our warehouse that's up to different situations it's like if it's a full container or if it's a um, uh, some products, it's a fragile products, we may need to ch check in the factory. But if it's only like a 10 or 20 boxes, we will inspect in our warehouse after we collect them. Okay. Uh, so if we, you inspect, you find some uh, um, the quality problem. So the factory will fix that or you will do fix that? Oh yeah, that's a very good question. That depends. And uh, if we here, if we find that there are problems, and of course, because the products are in the factory and the factory, the factory will take care of it. Uh, but uh, if it's here, because it's already with us in our warehouse and we will try to fix it. It's like the small mistakes. It's like the uh, wrong barcodes or it's um, unclear labels or it's a poor quality packaging, then we will fix it. So if we can fix it, we will fix it. We'll fix it and then it goes to the store and the prep uh, stage. And if we cannot fix the major quality issues, and this will also need to be sent back to the factory to take care of it. Oh, interesting. It seems you also keep the store and the prep. Yes, yes, we do. We do, do uh, and the store and the prep. And we also do lab label and catering and uh, packing. Uh, but this is up to different cases. Sometimes we may not need to do it, uh, but sometimes we may, we may need to do it. Then after the pr products are ready, prepped, and we will ship it. Oh, so last part is the shipping, uh, for shipping, right? Yes, it is. The shipping is a big part. Uh, so you can see here, uh, obviously, uh, we can ship from China. So first, uh, we can ship direct. 
to the Amazon, we can ship to Walmart, and we can also ship to our overseas 3PL. And from there, from our overseas 3PL, we can also send to Walmart and Amazon. Uh, also, from China, we can go direct to your own address, to your warehouse, and we can even ship to your end customers. Of course, if this can also be from our overseas warehouse, we can also ship to your end customers. Wow, amazing. It looks you offering the full services for offline or online business. So can you give me an idea of the cost and the charge for your service? Yeah, sure. Yeah, for the full service, uh, from you have product ideas uh, all the way uh, until uh, the products uh, reaches to the destination places and we charge a commission. Uh, we charge a percentage of your uh, a percent of your total purchase value as a commission. And normally it starts from 5%, uh, but we can always discuss uh, up to different situations. Wow, now it's very clear. Thank you very much for Jack. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much for watching us. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. And we are looking forward to speaking to you soon. Bye.